Hey ladies, it's time for Breakdowns, Breakthroughs, and Blessings, and today we're going to talk just a little bit about envy. For those of you who don't know my backstory, I spent just a whole lot of my life just eaten up with envy because I had a lot of friends that to me look like beautiful little Barbie dolls, and I don't. And, um, and I was so jealous of those girls, so jealous. And, um, and it felt terrible because uh, these, a lot of the people that I was so envious of are people that I love. I mean, I love them. And yet I have these angry little hurt, bitter feelings deep down inside that are just eating away at me. And I mean, I struggled with this for a really long time. And, um, and then in my probably thirties, yeah, it was probably in my early thirties, I really kind of hit a wall and I had to do some work on it. And, um, and some people were put in my life and, and they showed me that number one, just because you are physically beautiful does not mean your life is easier or better than anybody else's. Number two, yeah, I think it's really, really sad when somebody believes their only value is outer beauty. I mean, that's that's really it, that's really sad um, because that's kind of that our outer beauty um, changes. <laughs> Gravity happens, people, <laughs> and so um, you know. And and the third thing was that I had to do a little work to decide that beautiful can look just like me, and and I did that and. Um, and it was a really cool time when I finally woke up one day and said, you know what, beautiful looks just exactly like this. And um, and I didn't struggle much with it. I really didn't. Um, I know other people were like, really have a hard time with Facebook and have to swear off because um, envy sort of gets to them. And I just don't understand it because I truly believe I live where I'm supposed to live and I have what I'm supposed to have and I'm with who I'm supposed to be with. and. And so I didn't, I just didn't get it when people were like, I got to get off Facebook. It's making me insane. But then it reared its ugly head again. And it was after I joined Unique and I was really surprised because I hadn't felt it in a long time and I didn't like it. Now, the good news was that I was not envious of people who were younger than me or had better features than I do or were skinnier than me. Um, I was not envious of anybody else's looks, which I sort of expected to be. Um, what I envied was their success. I saw some ladies join this company and just, it just went bananas. It, they went bananas and, um, and they built these great teams and they sold a ridiculous amount of it. And I'm watching them with these little feelings, you know, these little rat-like feelings, <laughs> and I want to celebrate with them, but there's just this little part of me going, I want to build an empire, <laughs> and um, I'm really a dork, um, and it just, it didn't happen that way for me. It, it, it For me, um, this has been a very different kind of journey, and so... Um, I just discovered I have some more work to do. And the first is to celebrate the progress that I'm not envious of anybody else's life. Um, I'm not envious of anybody else's looks. I really want that hair to do something different, though. Um, and that it's time for me to do a little bit of work and, um, and make peace with my path. Because my story is just not like anybody else's. My story is mine. And the cool thing is that as I begin to work on that envy problem, I come to really appreciate the gifts in my path and the gifts in my journey and the gifts in my growth. Um, because I have this, I've told you about it before, I have this quitter in my head. It says, if this isn't easy and it doesn't happen fast, I'm not supposed to do it. And I have not felt that way about this makeup. I haven't felt this way about my, my sweet little makeup business at all. Um, I still completely believe that um, I can I can continue to build and I can continue to grow and I can reach a bunch of ladies and um, and I can have a lot of fun doing it. 
So I haven't wanted to quit. I haven't wanted to quit. Um, I also am finding lots of benefits to what I do that are outside of what I thought I would get when I joined my business and started it up. Um, I like who I'm becoming. I like that I'm not quitting. I like that I get to connect. I like that I am genuine in what I do and the way that I do it. And, um, and I'm really excited about not knowing where my journey is going to take me. It's an adventure. So, um, and I only share this because I want you to know that, um, that if you're sitting there struggling and there's something that, that, that's just hard for you, um, that you um, feel really discouraged sometimes, that you're 100% not alone. And I want you to pull up the picture of the little engine that could. I did it just the other night. And I want you to remember, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Because you can. Um, and just because your journey doesn't look like anybody else's does not mean that you are on the wrong path. I hope this helps somebody. I hope you got the pep talk that you needed, and I hope you don't quit just for today. Let's just keep going. Thanks a bunch, and y'all have a lashtastic day.